layer two. In dark times, we begin to see Depio's latest painting entitled Rewriting Barry fleshes out the artist's recurring themes of humanity, of destiny, and the truth of life's emotional identities. In dark times, we begin to see Philippine distinctiveness. For Depio, national identity is the sum of many parts, parts that are both good and bad, parts within the aesthetic structural reverberations of theater and cinematography. In dark times, we begin to see Depio's recent painting, Rewriting Barry, links the artist's familial background of the Philippines with the British invasion of Manila of 1762, also known as the Seven Years' War. In dark times, we begin to see Depio inspired by cinematographer Stanley Kubrick. Of specific interest with Kubrick's vision and interpretive revision of William Makespeace Thackeray's period novel, The Luck of Barry Lyndon, resulting in the cinematic painting, Rewriting Barry. In dark times, we begin to see the artist's insightful and engaging reinterpretation of Thackeray's and Kubrick's Barry Lyndon. In this painting, the artist explored the history and philosophy of the Philippine journey, a journey fighting to recover national sovereignty after defeating both Spain and England. In dark times, we begin to see the black, the empty, the uncovered, the ravaged soul of a Philippine artist no longer dwelling in silence, unified within a theater of careful observation, focused observation allied with Depio's strong compositional sense. In dark times, we begin to see the unscrupulous Irish rogue Redman Barry Lyndon, journalistically observed by Thackeray as a satirical miscreant who makes his way in the world by conning others. Sound familiar? In dark times, we begin to see Thackeray's penchant for characters closely observed and recognized. This author's affinity betrays an obsession for observed feeling and thought. Everyday life populated by unsavory types perfectly suited for fiction, but Depio's rewriting Barry isn't fiction. <laughs>